And I don't know if you can hear the 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 the. Um, what that is is the mothers actually calling their babies. I used to think for quite a long time that it was the baby impalas calling their mums, but it's the other way around. And there's such a vast herd of them here. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. And I'm sure you all, apparently you're all agreeing with me that it is the most sweet thing to see. Such a tiny little group. Or some tiny little group, tiny little baboon, sorry. Huge group of impala. All making their way down towards the water hole. Oh, nice one, Justin, and I don't really know the answer. You say, which human age group would I put a baboon's age at? So, you know, if we were to put an adult baboon's intelligence, at what human age would I put that at? Well, it's quite interesting because the, uh, I mean, I guess you, you're basically asking, as a chimpanzee is, seems to be able to achieve the uh, cognitive abilities of a, I think it's a five-year-old human being, you're wondering about the baboon. I'd say probably no more than two. But remember, they're intelligent in ways that we won't ever understand and in the ways that we are not. So although, yes, it might not be able to understand language any more effectively than a two-year-old human being can, what we can say is that they have vast intelligence in other ways. So cute. <laughs> there we go. Oh, she lost her baby there. Hmm. <laughs> yes. It's a good point there, Larry. You say you reckon that the impala will smell me before they'll see me. And I think you're probably right, Larry. I, yeah, I will try and find some baboon cologne. As disgusting as that is, a baboon is not a pleasant smelling creature, I must just tell you. Baboons are not pleasant smelling because they, well, they tend to dung around where they are and they don't really mind the smell, so they walk in it and pick it up and throw it at each other and it's, it's all rather vile. What are you alarm calling at? Tell me that Karula is walking behind us on the damn wall. <laughs> 